Yo, 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 boy, it's your boy Sweet Banger here, and we back again with another unboxing of a new PC handheld, bro. It's called the Asus RGO, yeah, the ROG Ally, bro. So we back again. Look at this, bitch. I got, I just came back from Best Buy. They all, okay, so they only had four left in the store. Because, like, I guess where I'm at, it was popular enough for them only to have four left. I'm glad that they had one in the back. I was very happy that they they found that one in the back. I guess it fell off the truck or something, and I'm just really glad, happy that they found it. So now I'm about to come to y'all with an unboxing. I mean, I got it yesterday, but I didn't want to do an unboxing uh, until today because of all this uh, stuff I was doing to get the ally. But... I don't know, man, it's just, I was too freaking excited to actually, to do an unboxing that day, because I was like, I was too fired to, uh, to even do anything. So I had to get the, uh, I, I was doing a lot of stuff anyway, so I was like, you know what, I want to get something with a clear head and get to y'all so y'all can see the new unboxing of the Ally and everything it comes with and do a little setup and see where it goes from there. But hey, man, like I said before, like always like, subscribe, turn this post notifications on. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell y'all if it's a good idea to buy the I uh, the, the Asus uh, Rogue uh, uh, Ally or the Ioneo 2, because I know I did an unboxing of the Ioneo 2 recently. So I'm gonna tell y'all my experiences and why I went to the Rogue instead of just staying with the uh, Ioneo 2. So. Let's get into it. But before we do anything of that, of that nature, I thought I had a knife, but I guess not. I really thought I did. box i mean ain't getting nothing else nothing too spectacular on it there's a size and size and everything but like i said y'all need y'all want to see all that take this tape off Oh shit, it comes with a case. That's what the case looks like when it comes in. So that's what the case looks like. All right, put that over there. box over there what we got right here is just a manual we don't really need to read in that i'm gonna put this to the side real quick yeah. we're gonna open this from the side see what else it comes with so it just comes with the charger already so we're gonna unbox you know Put this right here. All right, there's that. Now let's see if there's anything else in these boxes that we gotta. I think it. I think it's just honestly. I think it's just manuals. Honestly, honestly, I think it's just manuals. Yeah, manuals that no one cares for. I swear, no one even reads the manuals. No, it is. No one. All right, so yeah, it was just a manual. All right, there's that. And that's right here is 
the same thing. All right, there's nothing else. There's a box. There's this. Now, I was told, like, it feels good in the hand. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels really good in the hand compared to the uh, Ioneal 2. So, I was like, all right. The buttons feel nice. It feels, yeah, way better. The grips. Yep. The joysticks, the D-pad. The little buds on the side, anything at the bottom. They even got yeah. Like I said, I mean, like it feels way better compared to what I had before. All right, and then you got the top. Oh yeah, way better. All right, so. I know I was told that you got to plug it up first for like a bit to charge so it can uh, start charging. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Plug that into the charger bit. Back to back. Plug this into, I'm guessing that's where it goes. And then hold the power. I mean, shoot, overall, I mean, compared to that, and my Nintendo Switch, I mean, shoot, it beats it, like, from a mile away, bro, like, look at it, like, especially how big it is and how thick it is. We gotta let it charge up. We gotta let it go, cuz. Man, it's taking its sweet time, too, cuz. Like, yeah, dang. Yeah, install windows, go ahead and use, oh, even the buttons work? I'm gonna create a layout. I'm gonna go all the way down. Go to where I say English. English, United States. US. Now, sign into the internet. Sign into mine. I'm gonna take this out real quick. And All right, it's already signed in. We're gonna move over, check for updates. Accept, username, we go with Swift. Vanguard. Ah, oh, there's no fucking no spaces.
All right, so while we're waiting for everything to load up and have all the updates ready, I'm gonna tell you about the INEO2. So while I went to go and from the INEO2 to the uh, ASUS Rogue Alloy, I don't know, it's just a uh, Rogue Alloy. I just can't believe it. it's just like, for me, I'm a big emulation type of dude. So I like to play games from back in the day type of thing. And, and just in case I do want to play PC gaming, I want to play, you know, I'll play it whenever I want to play it. But at the same time, I was looking at it and most of the games I was playing was not working on the, on the device, on the INEO2. And I was like, I was wondering why I tried everything. I looked on a couple of communities that I'm in. I looked in a couple of other uh, spots where they told you to go where you need to help to find out how to apply certain updates or freaking what you call it uh if you wanted to have any other games to be played at the faster uh, F, uh what's called F, uh, fpt or something like that so i was like all right so why isn't this game working as it should I'm, i have all the updates checked i have everything ready so i'm like oh, okay check the updates so i'm like all right you know what i'm just gonna let things go from right there and have everything just be good and great and so i would, I would not be tripping Yeah, this might take a uh, I won't say it might take a minute, but it's gonna, it's, it's, yeah, it's gonna take a minute. Now here's the armor crate. Welcome to your first armor crate. Yup, all right. Gaining platforms, and as we get install them, all right, copy, next. Go to add. If I wanna add anything else, that's where I will go, okay. And I can remap all the other buttons. I can use this to log into the armor crate, okay. And armor crate there. So, there's that. Sorry about that, if I switch that, go back, all right. I knew somebody told me, I was like, no, you should not update your BIOS. At least not to the uh, latest version because of some crappy shit that's going on. So I was like, you know what? I am not updating it. I don't have to. All right, sign in. Press that. All right, so let's go to update center. That's everything. Now, for the main part of this video, I want to talk about uh, the INEO 2 while I'm right here. So I want to uh, tell anybody that actually wants to look at this, put you to the side, and put you right here. All right, so the INEO 2, bro. If I'm talking about the, I'm just talking about the two, not the two S. If y'all thinking about getting a newer device and you were trying to ask someone's opinion on an actual opinion, if you should get the INEO 2 or the uh, Asus uh, Rogue Ally, honestly, my opinion, going off of just gameplay only. And the way that a PC handheld should feel and how that, which like from words for emulation and anything in general as in that aspects, I'm trying to tell you, do not waste $1,500 on the INEO 2. I'm, that's just my opinion. Don't waste $1,500 on the INEO 2 because if you do, you'll be wasting money and you're going to be regretting it like I have right now to this day. I'm glad I got the device. I'm glad that I got to do the unboxing and have it for a couple, I'm sure, I think it's been like one or two weeks that I've had it. I mean, it's, I would say that INEO 2 is not for me, but... Maybe down the line in a few years when I can get my hands on that new INEO uh, Coon that's coming out. Okay, that I, I will see what's up and see if it's a little bit better. Hopefully it's not a Windows device. If it's not, then it's gonna be even way better. But for right now, I will be enjoying my little time playing with the uh, Asus Rogue uh, Ally. I'm gonna be playing with that for now, for, I mean, for a while now. And that's my main thing. Because like I said, if you have to buy a device that will basically put you up for now to maybe 20, uh, 2026 or 2025 or whatever year we're going by, maybe like for another two to four years, and if you have to get one of these two devices, I would say get the, uh, get the, Rogue, get the Rogue Ally. I'm trying to tell you, bro, you will not go out, you will not miss it. Because basically, most people are saying that this device right here is the Steam, two, Steam Deck 2. So I'm like, shit, wh wh why not? It looks clean there, it looks nice. I mean, anything that the Steam Deck can do, it can do a little bit better. And you can still play your games and emulation too. I mean, look, yes, the uh, IMEO 2 has better uh, stick grip, and, like stick controls, and uh, I wouldn't go that far and say better D pad. Better D pad, if, if I had to say, but I'm not going to go that far. But other than that, I would say that the buttons on the IMEO and from the Rotate, I don't know, like, I feel like they're kind of a little tight, but as the grips on the back, the triggers on the back, I would say that the rogue beats that uh, already, bro. And then the the card from here, I feel like this beats IO space. Because you can plug all your emulations into there and you can play them right from there. Well, like I said, that's just my opinion. If you're a type of person that, want, that likes to save money and you just want maybe one or two devices at the end of the day, 
I would say just go with the uh, Rogue Alloy and then you'll be fine. That's just my opinion. But if y'all don't care, then hey man, go ahead and spend $15 or a little bit more than that to get uh, the Agnew 2. But if, like I said, just don't go. I just, I just don't want y'all to make a mistake and get the Agnew 2. If you have enough money, bro, I say save it up and get the Agnew 2 S or at least the uh, Agnew uh, Air, the new one that came out recently. I would say get that over oh, this one. Because, I mean, I understand they keep making newer and newer devices, but for right now, I'd say this is going to be a starting point of what you should do as of right now. Because right now, I'm, like I said, I'm leaning more to this compared to this. Because I'm, I'm already selling this already. So, that's just how, my, that's how I look at it. So, let me know y'all comments below if y'all think that the Rogue is better than the two. And, shit, remember to like, subscribe, and post notifications on. And I got y'all next unboxing or next video in the future. Peace.